In this video, we will walk through how to use Lob Zapier integration to automatically send postcards whenever new users are added to your mailing list. Here, we'll be using Google Sheets file as our example mailing list. This kind of setup will significantly reduce the amount of manual work needed to send out mail and can be generalized for a number of different situations. Before we begin setting everything up, let's get an understanding of what Zapier is. At the most basic level, Zapier is a tool that allows you to connect the apps you use to automate the tasks you perform. It lets you trigger an activity in one app based off an action in another app. From the home screen, click on Make a Zap. Next, you'll be prompted to select an app that will serve as a trigger. For this scenario, since we're keeping our mailing list in Google Sheets, let's select that as our trigger. We are now prompted to select an event from within Google Sheets that will serve as the trigger event. This is what causes a postcard to be created and sent later, so it's important that you select the appropriate event. We're focusing on new users who sign up for our mailing list, so we are going to make new spreadsheet row our trigger event. That means when a new row is added to the spreadsheet, we will send a postcard to the new person. Next, we need to connect an account. No matter which account you decide to go with, we strongly recommend testing the connection to the account to ensure that there will not be any surprises later on. Now you're going to designate a specific spreadsheet and worksheet for Zapier to target. We're just going to confirm that the right sheet is being selected and then continue. Great, now we've finished setting up the trigger and we're going to choose an action to happen when the trigger is detected, which in our case is sending a postcard. Type lob into the search field and select the corresponding option from the drop-down menu of available applications. Click on the send postcard option from the list of capabilities the lob API has. Now, whenever our trigger occurs, a postcard will be sent. Grant Zapier access to your lob account so it can take action on your behalf. Please note that if this is your first time connecting your lob account to Zapier, that you will receive a screen asking you to input your API key. Your account's keys can be found under the API key section of your settings in your lob dashboard. We're going to be using our test API key, but in order to send real mail pieces, you will want to use your live API key. Once again, we strongly recommend testing the connection. Now you have to set up the content you want printed on your mail piece. To start, turn the setup preview on so you can easily test to make sure that the information you are pulling in is correct. You'll notice that several fields are optional, so we we'll, won't be going through all of them today. For the front file for postcard and back file for postcard sections, you have two options available to you for submitting content. First, you can use a URL to the PDF, PNG, or JPEG, or second, you can paste the HTML of the artwork directly into the corresponding text box. Whichever method you decide to use is fine. It just depends on your personal preference. We'll be putting in the HTML directly into the box. This HTML we're using is a template from Blob's template gallery with a couple of tweaks applied. If you have any variable content, like addresses or names, then you can use Zapier fields to ensure the content changes for each new row that is added. By clicking on the Insert a Field button on the right, you can select the appropriate variable from the drop-down list. First, we will take advantage of Zapier's merge functionality to properly pull our intended addresses from our spreadsheet. And we'll do the same for the other address fields. Additionally, in our template, we have two merge variables, one for the name of the intended recipient and one for the color of one of our elements. For this, we'll be using the recipient's favorite color, which we asked them prior to sign up and which is a column in our Google Sheets page. We're almost done. The last step to take here is to ensure the zap is working as intended by performing a test. Go ahead and click on the blue send test to lob button on the bottom right side of the screen. If everything goes well, you should see a green success banner at the top of the page. Finally, give a name to the zap you have created and turn it on by clicking on the toggle. When it slides to the right and you see a green on icon, that indicates it is fully set up. 
congratulations, you have just automated your postcard workflow. One final thing we're going to do is see our Lobs app in action. We'll go into our Google Sheets page and add a new entry. Let's go to our Lob dashboard while we wait for the zap to fire. In our test environment, let's first take a look at the postcard that was generated while we were setting up the zap. If we open up the postcard preview, we see that this postcard has a customized greeting. It says, hi Larry Lobster. Also, note that the background color behind the thank you text is blue. If you recall the HTML we put in for the back of the postcard, we're customizing the color of the postcard based on the user's favorite color from the user signup spreadsheet. All right, let's go back to our postcards tab and we see that our new one has automatically been created from the Lob Zapier integration. In this one, if we preview, we see that the name in the greeting is different and the color is different as this user's favorite color is red. And that's it, you're done.